Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to take a look at this new trailer that was released by PUBG uh, for Vikindi. I'm super excited as I was always a fan of Vikindi. Let's take a look. Let's go. Snowmobiles are back. As short but exciting. Let's break it down real quick here. So, starting at the beginning, first of all, I'm I'm excited about this. I miss Vikendi. I think uh, it's been out of the rotation way too long. Just like Sanhok, it's only out for one month before they removed it. Vikendi is coming back. This is exciting. Um, so I can't tell if this is like a a farther away view, and these are going to be areas where you can you can actually hide behind or like move up and around. That would be kind of nice if they did that on on the Vikendi ice. However, I was always a fan of the water and Vikendi because it made certain areas a choke point. So you actually had to fight for the ground, which I think makes the game more interesting, which is why when 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 Sandhawk had the change where you could cross the river really easily without a lot of uh pushback or there was really no choke points. On Sanok 2.0, I was a little disappointed on it, and then they did the same thing at McKinney. So I, I think that was a mistake. So hopefully, this might add a little more finesse to then, you know, to your your icy waters, maybe. But uh, it looks nice. This map is always beautiful. Oh, oh, what do we got here? That could be an ascender. I think that's that that color that flag is what's on Destin. Uh, when they released the Destin map, but on the Destin map they also did have the sound, which I did not hear the sound at all on this map or in this trailer at all. So they made the Ascender sound as part of the trailer on Destin. It is not in here, so that may or may not be. Well, I guess we'll have to see. Snowmobiles are back. I always like snowmobiles. I mean, it makes sense. It's a it's a it's a snow map, right? Or is it? It's very easy to shoot somebody off of the snow map, though, or off of a snowmobile. So footsteps, the grass, the ground. I mean, it's cool. I, I think it's an, a neat add-on. But if that helps with the performance in a negative way, I think it's irrelevant. You know, it's such a minor, a minor detail. This is something to look at, though. Just take a moment, look how amazing this map looks. And obviously we're gonna talk about the elephant in the room here in a second, but um, I always liked how Vikendi flowed. This map looks amazing. You know, it's in the middle of winter, but like it's a nice, kind of reminds me of like Deer Hunter. If you've ever played that game back in the day, I may have just, may have just aged myself right there, but um, beautiful map. Got a tornado in here. It's super awesome. Kind of reminds me actually of the Battlefield. Gosh, what Battlefield was it? Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4? I think it was Battlefield 4. They had a hurricane come in in the middle of the map, which is really awesome. So the map completely, the map dynamic completely changed. Um, I think you're going to see a little bit of that here. I hope they actually have this floating on the map though, where you're, you're affected by it in the map itself because I think that'd be really cool. Uh, grass. We see grass on Vikendi. This is a little surprising. Um, I like it. You know, I think this actually kind of makes me think of Vikendi, how amazing of like a woods map, maybe something that's out in Alaska or North Dakota or something. Uh, just a beautiful area to go and battle in. Um, if it wasn't a snow map, like kind of interesting thing they did if they did dynamic weather on all of the maps um would be kind of an interesting twist to all the current maps you know adding snow in you know sandhawk adding uh snow in miramar no i'm not a fan of that map but um 
a woods or a, a normal summer bikini would be kind of cool. Maybe that's a prelude. Maybe this is a prelude to that. Showing the dynamic. Whoa, showing the dynamic weather there. This kind of reminds me of uh, playing Erangel back in the day when uh, the fog was around. He had fog the entire map. Loved running around with a crossbow, just shooting at people. Train is cool, but I don't know. It's it's not really a super exciting thing for me. I think I've ridden the train and Vikendi maybe five times out of a couple hundred times I've played the map. Um, I do like that there's more. It looks like there's more grass in this map. I'm I'm a fan of that. I mean, this is, yes, it is a, a winter map, but like I said just a moment ago, I think this map would be really cool to play in the middle of the summertime. The dynamic weather is going to be a big thing, uh, I think, coming up. I can kind of tell, looking at the dy dynamic weather on uh, Destin, um, I like it. I think it kind of adds a little more layer to it you know i love the rain games i've always loved the rain games it's so relaxing um but i'm kind of surprised we don't see a little mixture of stuff from from destin here what is this company here can't exactly read that but they've they've done some things in the past with the PUBG lore the different companies i don't actually know what the lore is for this so if you happen to know make sure you mention it in the comments but um I also don't recognize this area at all on Vikendi. And I could be wrong, but I don't remember it being in there. So this might be part of the the dome that's up in the upper left-hand side of the screen, or maybe it's the middle. Uh, it's been a while since we've played Vikendi. But uh, looks cool, though. I mean, I think it'd be fun to play in. A lot of areas for cover. So let's talk about that for a second. So kind of have like a cracking sound here kind of makes me think that they might have the the ice as breakable which could be kind of neat once again though performance wise on your on your computer it's not going to be a performance best friend by any means just imagine though like if you broke the ice and you could swim under the ice and you need your teammate to shoot at the shoot at the other side of the ice so that you can get back up before you before you drown that actually would be kind of funny or you throw a grenade you know farther down the down the uh the river or the lake just so you can get out later on that'd be kind of funny and kind of neat definitely would add a lot of different strategies but i don't know it'd be kind of interesting i don't know if that's where they were going with that or not but uh Overall, it was an interesting video, and uh, I'm excited for Vikendi. I'm glad it's coming back. Hope you are too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.